Hello, and welcome to this lesson on triads. To kick off today's lesson, we'll listen to a little bit of Bela Bartok's uh, piano piece called Sixths and Triads. called that because it has parallel sixths in one hand and parallel triads in the other hand. Let's get started. A triad is essentially a chord with three notes in it. Most of the chords that we'll be learning in music theory are either triads or are based on triads. And there's three parts to the triad, the root, the third, and the fifth. The most important note is the root. Uh, when we name a chord, we'll name it after its root. So if this example had a treble clef, this would be a G chord. If this example had a bass clef, this would be a B chord. So triads are made by stacking um, major and minor thirds on top of each other. And we can do this in four ways. So there's four different possible types of triads. And here they are, major triads, minor triads, diminished triads, and augmented triads. And um, as you can see, they have different ways of stacking major and minor thirds. Major triads are called major because they have this major third on the bottom. So here's the major third, and then a minor third stacked on top. That gives us the major triad. Minor triads are called minor because they have the minor third on the bottom, and then that has a major third on top. Right. So they just kind of switch the order of the major and minor thirds. Uh, giving them both the same distance between the third and the fifth, which is a perfect fifth, right? So the way that that perfect fifth is divided can make the triad either major with the major third on the bottom or minor with the minor third on the bottom. Um, if you look at the diminished and augmented triads, you can probably see where their names come from, right? It has to do with the fifth. So diminished triads have a diminished fifth. Um, there's a minor third on the bottom and there's a diminished fifth. Or another way of thinking of it is two minor thirds stacked on top of each other. Gives you that kind of intense diminished triad sound. Augmented triads are the least common of all of the triads. They don't occur uh, that frequently. And they are, of course, named after the fifth, which is an augmented fifth. So they have the major third and another major third stacked on top, giving you the augmented sound. So once again, the uh, breakdown is major triad, minor triad, diminished, and then the other direction, augmented. OK. Uh, one of the easiest ways to identify triads is uh, similar to the white key method we used for intervals. We're looking at the natural note triads and what their qualities are without any accidentals. So if we spell triads using only the natural notes, once again, we're going to get major triads over C, F, and G. Right? Because those are the notes where we, what? Where we naturally get major thirds. So uh, that's also where the major triads occur, over C, F, and G. The other um, triads, though, we have minor over D, E, and A. You might remember the drug enforcement agency or something. Those are my minor triads, my natural note minor triads. And the last one, because um, we get a minor third over B also, but because of the, the diminished fifth from B to F, we get a diminished triad over B. So it's kind of different. The B stands alone. So once again, we've got a major on C, F and G, minor on D, E, and A, and then B is diminished. And then resolve that back to a major. So you can use that as a reference point and then think of all other triads as variations on these basic types. So if I took my D minor triad, and, and raise the third, it would become a D major triad, as we'll see in a minute. 
Okay, so if you wanted to change the quality of a triad from one type to another, you would alter the third or the fifth um, in some way. Uh, don't change the root because then that would give make it into a completely different chord. Okay, so what we see here is a C diminished triad, a C minor triad, a C major triad, and a C augmented triad. Okay, so the first thing to remember is that if you lower the third of a major triad, then you get a minor third, a uh, minor triad. Right. Also, if I had an F major triad and I lowered the third, it becomes a minor triad. Okay, and then the other way around, if you raise the third of any minor triad, you get a major triad. So if I take C minor, raise the third, and C major. Or if I take D minor and raise the third, then it becomes D major, and so on. All right, you take any minor triad and lower the fifth, and you get a diminished triad. So I take this C minor, lower the fifth, and it becomes diminished. Don't go directly from major or anything else, right? It, it's from a minor triad. If you lower the fifth, it becomes diminished. That gives you both minor thirds stacked on top of each other. All right, now, um, if you start with a major triad and raise the fifth, then you get an augmented triad. So I take C major, raise the fifth, and C augmented. So that's how they all uh, are interrelated to one another. Again, remember the order in which they, they stand there. Um, you can go from diminished to minor to major to augmented by just changing one of the pitches by a half step. But you couldn't take an augmented triad and go directly to diminished and uh, just by one raising or sorry by lowering the fifth. That uh, would not go get to the other end of the spectrum, right? Okay. So here's uh, the labeling system we'll be using for triads to indicate what their quality is. Um, we will call it by the name of its root, and then use a capital letter for major chords. For um, So a capital letter G would be G major. Lowercase letters for minor chords, so lowercase g is G minor. Put a plus after a uppercase letter, and you'll have an augmented chord, so G plus is G augmented. And then put a diminished sign, or sometimes known as a degree sign, after a lowercase letter, and you get diminished. So here's G diminished. Uh, so these are the labels we'll be using when we're just describing a chord uh, outside of a key. Later we'll use Roman numerals to do a similar thing. Okay, I think that takes care of this triads lesson. You are ready now to go ahead and take the quiz that uh, goes along with it.